unboxing the Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G. This did actually arrive on Wednesday, I think it was, but I was out of the country. So it's the first chance I've now got to actually open the device. And I'm really excited about this one as it does use the Snapdragon processor globally. And obviously the YouTubers that have used it so far have given it glowing reviews. So let's get into opening the package. So I have already slipped the black Samsung logo that's there because I didn't want to faff around on the video. But yeah, I've got another clear thing here to pull off. That slides out. So it is actually a folding package. The top flap comes off. First we have this leaflet, change the shape of the future. It just says welcome to a new mobile era, the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Put that to one side. And here, this is the normal Samsung leaflets I believe. your quick start guide, warranty card, read and all lock guide. But this one is when you put a certain SIM card in it, the SIM card has to be used for like 30 days or something before you can use it in a different region. I did actually get caught out with that before when I purchased, I think it was the Note 9 and then I went to Asia and then I couldn't use any local SIM cards even though I purchased the phone unlocked. So you do be aware for that. And there's nothing else in this box. So here we have the device. I did go for the Mystic Bronze. We will come back and take that off separately in a minute. And there's the Premier Service. So this explains if you do need a replacement screen, um, I think there is a fixed fee rather than the, obviously the normal expensive price it would cost. So it does 119. So for 119 you can have a replacement screen within the first year. I think that's quite useful. 24 hours concierge. And specialised customer care. In the US I know they've got restaurant vouchers and that. I'm, I'm not sure yet if we get that in the UK, maybe not. And then here you do just have the charger. That's the USB-C cable. 25 watt power brick. And then some AKG USB-C headphones. Obviously for any previous owners of the Fold last year, you did get the uh, Galaxy Buds in the box. And there is also um, like a Kevlar case in the box that protect the back of the phone. And neither of them is included this year, so there's no case. And there's no free wireless earbuds other than the AKG ones that are in the box. So I think that was a way for Samsung to reduce the cost. And there we have the fold itself. So key instruction, do not press the screen or the front camera lens with a hard or sharp object. I think that's self-explanatory. When folding the device, don't have any cards, coins or keys placed in between the screens. It does remind you that the fold isn't water resistant. It doesn't have an IP rating. So we just peel this off. And again, that comes off in one. Oh yeah, the hinge is a lot stiffer. Yeah, I would have ordered a custom hinge maybe, but due to the delays, I thought I'd just go for the bronze. And I did have the black note and found it was a fingerprint magnet. And I had heard good things about the bronze, so I decided to give it a go, even though I do still think it looks a bit pink. But um, I am going to stick it in a leather case in a bit anyway. So yeah, I'm going to turn the phone on, have a play around, set it up, and then hopefully get a review on the website or the channel soon once I've got some initial opinions. 
Anyway, thanks for watching.